In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for potassium cyanide. So first off, we have potassium here. This is a metal and cyanide. This is a polyatomic ion. It's a group of nonmetals. So because of that, we have a metal and a group of nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. So we're going to have to think about how the electrons are transferred from the metal to the group of nonmetals here. Let's start by writing potassium. That's just K. It's in group one, so it'll have one valence electron. For the cyanide ion, that'll look like this. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure for the cyanide ion, there's a link in the description. So we have our cyanide ion. The whole thing is one minus, has a negative charge. And we should note that because it's a group of nonmetals, this triple bond here, these are shared. This is a covalent bond within the polyatomic ion. So since we have an ionic bond, the metal, it transfers its valence electron to the group of nonmetals. Since it lost an electron, it'll have a positive charge, a one plus. Our cyanide, it gained it. That's why we have this one minus here. And now we have this positive ion and a negative ion. They're opposite charges. They're attracted. That's what forms the ionic bond in KCN. So for our Lewis structure, we want to show that the electron was transferred. It's not shared. So we put these brackets around the ion, the negative ion here, and that shows that these electrons right here, they're not shared between the potassium and the cyanide ion. The potassium has transferred its one valence electron to the cyanide ion, giving it that negative charge. Sometimes you'll see brackets around the potassium ion as well. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for KCN, potassium cyanide. Thanks for watching.